come to yeshiva every day and the rabbeim and the teachers and the hanhala sometimes we get a little burnt out and when a parent shows the hakaras atayv and they truly appreciate the effort and the hard work that goes into building a yeshiva such as this it is the energy and the fuel that gets us to keep on going I'm excited to know the Amzels actually pretty well. Uh, Mordechai came to Camp Hever the past bunch of years, um, and first you could see right off the bat from him a smart, intelligent young man, a balmides, caring, sensitive to others, and that's why you see the exact same thing in his parents. Mordechai is a kid that all the rabbeim kvel. We kvel. There's no English word that could properly capture what kvel means, but he's such a pleasure to have in the yeshiva. His midas, his interest in learning. I have the schos of teaching Mordechai, and I think the one thing that maybe describes him in a nutshell is that on Purim, all he wanted to dress up as was the Chavetz Chaim. And I think that's all you need to know about, about Mordechai. He's somebody that has a chuka, he just wants to learn, he just wants more and more knowledge, he has the midas tivis of his parents, and it's a schos to have, be able to teach Mordechai. My Rebbe of Yankovs, that's how I always felt. That chinuch of a school is never complete unless the parents are shutfim 100%. And I could truly say about the Amzels, we feel appreciated in every way and we appreciate everything about them. My bracha to Mr. and Mrs. Amzel is that the schus of the accepting this award of the Parents of the Year, which is a huge benefit to the yeshiva's dinner, they should have much continued Yiddish nachas from Matchila and their entire family and continue to do chesed and my sentoyvim, mazel tov. We were looking to move from Brooklyn about four years ago, and from before we ever even made any offers in any houses, the number one concern that we had was where we were going to send our son Mordechai to yeshiva. Uh, we have nephews that have already were already in the yeshiva, already, were already living here in Muncie, and it really wasn't any question where we were going to be sending my, our son Mordechai. I think the number one thing that, that really jumps out at me is that the Rebbeim are able to recognize the kashroinus of every child, particularly my son Mordechai. They were able to tell right away that he Baruch Hashem loves learning and they were really able to cultivate that. And that I think is, is, is important. And I think it's something that is a byproduct of the ethos of the yeshiva to really try to harness every single Talmud's uh, talents and kishroinus and be able to develop them and allow each boy to flourish in their own way. And I think that was really evident from the moment we started in the yeshiva. I, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude uh, uh, to the yeshiva um, and obviously to my wife, Rochi. I think that it really is a testament to it. It really is Torah Asimecha. My bracha to the yeshiva is that the Hanhola and the Rebbeim should take Chizuk in seeing all the people here tonight supporting the yeshiva and that they should be able to carry this over into the, into the chinuch of all the Talmidim in the yeshiva. Chinuch is an unbelievably difficult uh, endeavor and the fact that the yeshiva is able to do it the way they do it uh, and so successfully is an unbelievable testament to the quality of the rabbeim, the quality of the, of the hanhala and from the Rosh Hashiva Shlita and I, I really, uh, my brach is that this should continue um, until I'd be as girl and on.